Alright everybody, welcome back to Zelda Bomb Squad. As always, I'm your man, Crazy Juan, and we do have another good one for you today. We are playing the remake of Resident Evil 3. Here we go. And there was something in here. Employee memo. September 12th, all that crap. September 15th, all that crap. September 12th, all that crap. Disposals trending upwards daily. Pre- Emptively dispose of any of 30 years of age, over 30 years of age. Seven fourth nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admish, admissions to underground facility temporarily halted. Okay, that told me a lot. And by a lot, I mean it told me jack squat. Hot diggity dog. Daddy likes him some bullets. Yeah, when I first played this, it took me forever to, to realize this is where the second fuse was. Forever. High grade. I'll take that. More high grade. You know what we're making with that, don't you? <laughs> Magnum bullets, baby. Suck it in. Hey, we can make some more handgun bullets, even though I don't think we're going to need them at this point. Still, very nice to have, though. Very nice. Just take this. Okay. Hopefully we don't die. Run for it. Run for it, Jill. Run for it, Jill. <laughs> yeah, go back to your home. I ain't worried about you. Right. We're making some sweet progress here. There's nothing in there but an herb anyway, and as I've already distinguished, I don't need health. You were just all over the place, weren't you? Not enough to get the job done, though. You jerk. Can't open a door by running sideways. What kind of nonsense is that? Okay, you guys are actually really close. There we go. Problem solved. Kind of. Solved enough. Now excuse me while I uh, smoke some drugs. Bye! A tutel ooh. Shit, he got away. And for the final weapon upgrade of the game, here we go. Something to make my magnum just a little bit more sexier than it was before. There we go. Doing all right now. Tell you that. Yeah, we can get mine. Why not? Okay, old man. Yep, we're doing good. We're doing good. Could be doing better, but we're doing good. Unfinished activity log. September 26, 1300, infiltrated Raccoon City. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. 1930. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. September 27th, 1200 hours. Test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. 2300 hours. Successful rendezvous with 
Mikhail, whatever the hell his last name was, Platoon, will make first attempt at dawn. September 28th, 0430 hours. Diverted pack toward command post result. Night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. 0800 hours, end of skirmish, 7 survivors. 1800 hours, unknown bioweapon deployed at point Delta 18. Tracking it per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. 2000 hours, got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Yes, it has been. September 29th, 0 hundred hours. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with Mikhail, whatever his last name was, Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project Nemesis. Investigating. 0400 hours. Observed by a weapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted? 0700 hours. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill Valentine video attached. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non responsive. Collected samples per orders. September 30th, 030 hours. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Because I've had drugs. 0400 hours. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by Carlos Oliveira, a soldier in McHale, whatever his last name was, platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Ooh, shit's happening! Mm -hmm. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ugh. You don't look like you're doing too good there, buddy. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Hot damn. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Yeah, two round, two mine rounds left. Thirty-six shells, and twenty magnum bullets. That's damn good to have. I'm not doing bad on ammo. Sure, you don't need to stop. Stop and do what? If I'll die for one. All right, let's get this done. Let's go, token. You and me, buddy. Let's get this shit done, shall we? Having a bad day, buddy? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> That's right. Up yours. You ain't getting through this door, try as you might. <laughs> oh, and here's another people who complain about. Oh, they're just reusing the same things from Resident Evil 2 remake. <laughs> No, they're not. Yeah, there was something that sprayed you down before. Big deal! Crybabies, man. You just cannot please everybody. Hello, nurse. Drugs. I'll take that. What do we have here? Nest 2 employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases, which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all the employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. 
It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. And a map, which I will never look at because I don't need to. Get up. Now get down. Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good, but in, most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately check it out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him! I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told, for their sake, but let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Well, I'm mistaken, you're on your feet, buddy. <laughs> Let's make sure you're down, shall we? Yeah, you're down. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. It just was. <laughs> I need help. And you know what this means? More magnum ammo for your boy. Hot damn. Yeah, I'll take the bullets. Why not? All right. Essay on Vaccine Synthesis On the Roles of Antigens and Adjuvants in Vaccine Synthesis Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spence Memorial Hospital The most effective synthesis of vaccine, both an antigen and an adrogen and an adjuvant are required The antigen produces an immune response while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses leading to the increased antibody production By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base by processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Hot! Damn! Now all I do is need to find these two things. By the way, there's a doll right here, but I already got it, so never mind. But in the meantime, we need this. Override key successfully generated. What if we hear? Override key removed. Something I'll need. Okay, how many rounds do I have? Okay, two. I'm gonna use one very shortly. Hopefully it does the trick. It probably won't. Or should I use it here? Yes. Yes, I should. No, I should not. Go away. You're bothering me. Because we're going to use it right now. And it did nothing. It didn't do a damn thing. I wasted it. And I've learned my lesson. Oh, Christ. You know what? got to be shitting me! God, what the fuck is it gonna take to keep these dumbasses down? Is 
fine. I was hoping to save those. God. What the shit is all this nonsense that's going on right now? My goodness. Weapon auth weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon th synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the, with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same level of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weapon reauthorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific causes has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. No shit! For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the paleheads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager Gabriel Reed. Yeah, I agree, because these guys are a pain in my nutsack. Right in there. Like, deep, deep, deep up there. An nope, not dealing with you. Jeez, and look who's back. I'm not even with you. Not even. Cargo Nemesis, shipping out that thing. Uh, shipment date September 1st, 1998. Shipment type Class 1, hazardous materials, additional notes. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing. A shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluations of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer the specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer Dr. Herman Frankel. Where's the other one? I know it's around here somewhere, and it's not gonna get me. Give me the drugs. Yep, there it is. Eat shit. Right up there. Scientist dying message. It ha it's happened. The worst case scenario. The T-virus is somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with the adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. So everybody, that's, it. that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to join the Bomb Squad. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. We are almost done. And we'll see you in the next episode. Will I create the vaccine or will I create or will I just encounter a shitload more problems to cause me beef? We'll find out. So until next time everybody, you all stay classy.